doom. Hi, Justin. I heard they made a new Doom thing. They made a new Doom thing, which means I'm legally obligated. This is different. This is Legacy of Rust. This is the new, uh... This is the new episode made by Night Dive and Machine Games. Glad to see Machine Games is still engaging in old uh, Doom franchises. So I was asked a question yesterday that I feel is appropriate now. Yeah. Do you think Machine Games will go back to the uh, the Wolfenstein well? I think they should make Wolfenstein 3. But do you think they will? I bet it depends on how well that indie game does. I bet that Indiana Jones game is going to do real well. I don't know, how did that movie do? I don't think I don't think people were really interested in that. That movie lost a lot of money. Um, I don't I don't think people are interested in seeing 80-year-old Harrison Ford do stuff. But I think that like virtual representation of Troy Baker uh, doing young a Harrison, Harrison Ford, Ford impression. Yeah, I think the impression of young Harrison Ford, people are definitely interested in that. I also think that uh there, the the chances of people who play video games being into Indiana Jones is way higher than most, maybe most modern movie going audiences. The kids don't like Indiana Jones. Yeah, do Zoomers like Indi Indiana Jones? These are the questions we answer on Twitch.tv slash like Arbitrary Water. I feel like the Zoomers would ask some questions about white people appropriating uh, treasure. <laughs> well, I, as someone who saw, I, I, you know, my brother and I rewatched Temple of Doom, like a couple months yeah. ago, uh, and problematic movie. And I'm at a, I'm at a point with that movie where I'm, I actually, I think I might like Temple of Doom because it's, it's, it's Spielberg's nasty divorce movie. <laughs> It, it definitely, uh, Temple of Doom definitely goes for some stuff that the other ones would never, ever, yep. ever have gone for. Um, I, yeah. Who's this, who's this, uh, Arbitrary Water trying to first-person shooter counter-program Koseki Biju? I know, Bibu's playing over Ultra Kill. I'm a, I'm a fake fan. But there was a new Doom episode, and Wolfenstein I knew if I didn't start my stream early enough, you'd start streaming some adventure game. Did Ultra Kill ever hit 1.0? No, it's close. It might hit it this year. Who knows? But it's the developer has said we're we're basically almost there. Yeah, like the all all of the variants for each weapon are finally out. If you if you wanna. Also, I apologize for playing on Hurt Me Plenty instead of Ultra Violence. What's wrong with you? I'm a I'm a fake uh, gamer he doesn't, girl. He doesn't like American McGee's chain gun replacements and wants to have a fun time. American McGee had nothing to do with this particular level. Oh, I know. I thought he was playing. Uh... Uh, he, I mean, he's playing the uh, the Doom thing that Machine Games put out and Night Dive. Yeah, the the new episode that. Came in this today's re-release. I know a also, lot of people like, just aren't that much of a problem. Like those new blood interactive, uh, that kind of like 
pastiche a lot of people jumped in at dusk is a medieval actually worth going back to i have yeah i their first game i played i played uh that dlc i think it was earlier this year I think yeah that's the first thing i finished this year uh it's pretty good um it's kind of repetitive like i feel like a lot of that game is like visually if you don't like the visuals then i don't think medieval is going to work for you because it looks amazing but also a lot of the game is just navigating to the next arena Look at these new enemy sprites. Oh wow, did you just like teleport to the next level or what happened there? I think I went through a portal. Yeah, but that was cool. Um, a medieval's good. It's worth playing. I don't think it's like necessarily What's what is full price of medieval? I don't think this like twenty bucks. Full price of medieval is good. Yeah. Uh, you can buy the entire package of a medieval dusk and ultra kill for sixty bucks. That's probably worth it. Yeah. I if you've never played dusk, I, that's by far the best of those. Uh, the actual answer for me is that you should play Coltic. I just want more people to play Coltic. At some point, Coltic Episode 2 is going to come out. Sure. Even even if it never does, I'm pretty happy with the uh, the four-hour, yeah, incredibly tight experience. That Coltic Ten was. levels, all you need. All of them at least somewhat different in tone and approach. Uh, all of them like, taste well, and it escalates well. It's a very good game. All the guns are fantastic. Oh, when you get that Mauser, and um, it, you get a slowdown every time you get a headshot with that thing. It's not every time, it's a random yeah. occurrence. It's not just that, it's anything that gets a headshot. But the lever action shotgun that you get does it a lot. I'm digging this, this midi. This JRPG overworld theme. This isn't this isn't using the buckethead soundtrack, is it? No. Well, that's Sigil. I don't know. I'm just wondering if they tap him again. Also, I'm not sure if uh, both parts of Sigil are in this or just the first part. We're running. Oh fuck, it's a revenant. Okay. You're right. This this uh this slightly jazzy uh doom song, real good. Uh, they yeah they also uh for Doom one and two there is a uh, Andrew Hachalt uh remix soundtrack of Doom one and two. Okay, there I heard a door open. There's, there's some sort of secret door over here. Uh-huh. Because it's, uh, Doom. Oh. Hmm. 
Uh oh. But you missed some shotgun ammo back there. Just four shells, but it's better than nothing, I guess. That loops real good. Yeah. Like the way the music loops. Yep. Slow down, hold the note, and then launch back into it. Don't mind me, I'm just scrounging. No, I understand. I've played Doom before. This happens. Okay. Anyway, how are you doing today, Z? Oh no. I also explained what the Omega Verse was to do on that Pinguino Creata. What's the Omega Verse? <laughs> I'm not going to make this. I'm not mistake. going to tell you. <laughs> no, 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 you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. It's you're fine. fine. I'll Google it. No, uh, save search on. Literally put save search on. It's okay. It's in prank. Oh, there's some mpreg stuff okay. in there. It, it's never mind. Don't worry. You see, all you had to do was say that if you didn't want to explain it. I mean, I it's also really like there, there, there are there are layers. I, I can pause it the next part of it, and this will be where we drop it. What if, Justin? Uh huh. I've never man. been more sorry to ask a question. What if man had a puss puss? Oh, there's oh. more than that. It's. What if, uh, it's like that mighty what if stretch. outmoded, uh, and inaccurate, uh, depictions of wolf game. social behavior was, uh, put onto people? And this what is, we, yeah. and I, this is just called Omega? Yeah. Yeah. Because characters are always the alpha. Well, the alpha there's alpha, and betas, and, omega. and omegas. Oh. The three hierarchies. Uh, okay, let's talk about something else. Anyway. <laughs> um, yeah. I, Bo is no longer with us. Because oh, my sister I took mean, him yeah, back. We should... Bo would have you thought he has a canine painted of a pack. Do what? They don't have, like, the whole idea of an alpha, what, alpha yeah, wolf or whatever, just is kind of bunk. Yeah, it's, it's actually bunk. Nope, nope. Is there a rocket launcher around here? Yep. Is that fucking rocket, like, uh, thing still following you? Yep. Revenant rocket? The last time you quick saved. Push push E on that before you go down. Yeah. Okay, I see.
Hey, Brayden, this, uh, this level pack might be kind of fucked up. Yeah, this is why I didn't pick Ultra Violence. I feel like I'm this soundtrack control. belongs. I feel like this soundtrack belongs in uh, Rondo of Blood or something. Yeah, it does have that energy. Except Rondo of Blood was like actual CD uh, instruments. So that should that should plug in the PlayStation and play Rondo of Blood. Oh. Still less annoying than actual Lost Souls. Yeah. See, I know how to play Doom. How could you possibly know how to play Doom? You're using a crosshair. I'm, I'm just being a dick. Well, at least I'm not using a controller. I'm not. I don't use a controller. No, but we know someone who usually. Does. I mean, Doom I, is fine with a controller. Also, also, Doom was originally made for like arrow keys, so an analog stick is an improvement on that. The original Doom technically had uh, mouse support, but it was weird and janky. Mm -hmm. 
just trying to goat me. She was just trying I'm not to trying to goat you to anything. Not taking the bait. The, the only bait. way I'm only trying to goat you with uh my thoughts about basketball, am I right? My Giannis No wait, uh What's his name? Giannis. Giannis. On the Kumpo. There was a thing back there. There was a thing back there. Uh oh. You're gonna die. Right no, I'm not. I mean, we all are. To some extent. Some extent. Yeah, Brayden found the Fountain of Youth, Justin. He talked about this yesterday. Yeah. Oh. Listen, I. <clears throat> I went on I went on an adventure and I found the fountain of you. It's colloidal silver. Yeah, it's colloidal silver. It'll turn you blue. But in exchange Eternal life. Eternal life. Yeah, I don't like this jingle jangle Christmas music. It's just not my thing. The, the, the Doom music is playing here? Yeah. I don't see how you're getting jingle jangle Christmas music from this. I mean, the joke I made was JRPG Overworld theme. As opposed to, uh, we literally just, uh, did Pantera. We, we, Pantera, or what is it? Um, yeah, he's talking about bad music. So yes. What's the? Um, I mean, Bobby Prince. Uh, the the Doom si soundtrack is iconic. A lot of the Doom soundtrack is literally just riffs from. Are you talking uh, about Metallica? Yeah, sure. There's definitely some songs that are pulled from early Pantera albums. Um. Like, one of the songs is just a Pantera song called Mouth of War. Like, pretty much note for note. It's amazing Bobby Prince did get sued. See, I was right. I re Anyway. I... Uh, but the problem with Pantera isn't their music. It's, uh, it's the people are bad. It's mostly the one that's still alive, unfortunately. I don't, I don't like much Pantera. Yeah, they're bad. The only Pantera I like is Raora Pantera. Yeah, Raora's great. Chatini. Apparently 10% of her audience is female, and that's the highest of the most, the last two gens of Hollow Live girls. That checks out. All right, now we got to put these Oh, word, Raiden? Up. You mean to tell me that most of the people who watch VTubers are dudes? Well, surprise, surprise. Some, for, for the ladies, uh, you know, there are male VTubers who will give you... Pole dancing exhibitions. Your, okay. um... There's a VTuber who does pole dancing? Like, don't worry about VTubing? it. VTubing? Don't worry about I, it. I, it's, it was even an official thing to wear, like, um, let's just say that the male VTubers are... Uh, Either clowns or they're uh, fuckboys. But also, you compare their numbers to the female VTubers, and it is not a competition. No. So... I think the, the unfortunate thing is that Niji Sanji is actually well ahead of Whole Alive mm -hmm. in terms of actually having male VTubers that people like to watch. I like Gavis Battle. Battle's great. I just wish he played fewer uh, online shooty shoots. Yeah, but his 3D Live where he, sang, where he sang a song 
and then Yago's giant head emerged from the the sea. Like an Eva fit? Yeah. And then, I... like, some of the dumb gags he did once he got 3D. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that the thing with Paul Alive is that Paul of Salt was too good for this Earth. That's yeah, maybe still Vesper and Magni favorite. didn't want to deal with idle shit. But Vesper and Bay in particular was such a good combo. Oh, that, like, that stream is amazing. God. Which now makes it very funny when Bay complains about the other Hall Alive people making meme references. It's like, now you know what Vesper felt. Yeah, and now... now the great thing is that Bijou is here to make Bay feel old. But also, uh, Vesper's uh, current situation, he's quite good. He's, he's yeah, tall. his his current uh, persona is good. But yeah, Hollow Salt was fucking great. Yeah, Monopoly. Violence. It, it was the Mon Monopoly stream, and it was also the Uno stream. Was so fucking good. They have you have Uno. It's on your fucking Xbox. I don't have Uno. I have the Xbox that didn't come with Uno. Those are moldy memes, Braden. Yeah. Well, I'm a moldy meme. I'm I'm the moldy meme now. Listen, there there are several routes one can take when it comes to uh, memes, and either you embrace the fact that you are uh, irrelevant and out of touch, or uh, you don't because uh, you choose not to prematurely age yourself. still be hip with the kids by talking I'm to a bunch of kids. I'm hip with the kids. Playing this Doom. Yeah, playing this hot game that's hip with the kids. Doom. This game that came out 31 years ago. This game that is... Jesus I'll say, I'll, I'll say this. Uh, the Doom reboot games were fairly popular with teenagers. Yeah. How many of those actually went back and played these, though? I, I, th I honestly, okay, let's roll that back a minute. I feel like Doom 1 and 2 are kind of timeless games at this point. They're in the, the Mario ballpark of no matter how old you are, you probably played one of the Doom games for a little bit at some point. I mean, I mean John we were both said, a little too young for this. Yeah, like John Carmack said that, yo, um... Despite all of our problems with Microsoft, uh, the Xbox 360 XBLA release of Doom 1 and Doom 2 actually probably introduced those games to, like, an entire generation. I mean, there's that. There's also, like, these games still have, like, really active communities, and they don't just consist of crusty old guys. Oh, yeah. Doom modding communities are... Uh... Active. But I think by, by mentioning the XBLA release, I'm saying that, like, it does yeah. a pretty good job of always making sure that yeah. their stuff is available. Yes. More th yeah, more than the vast majority. More than any other old game except maybe Final Fantasy IV. Like, the Doom games are easily available. Yeah. Um, I think that things get a little bit uh, dicier with, like other non-Doom games. I think that things are okay with Quake, obviously. Yeah, that, that I mean, that Night Dive re-release of Quake is very good. The, the Night Dive Quake 1 and 2 re-release made sure that those games are easily, just as easily playable as Doom 1 and 2. But uh, I also don't feel like people are as interested in Quake. No. It's the polygons. I think that uh, it's safe to say that the franchise might actually just be dead. Quake? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, I hear the thing is now with it being what what it is and AAA development being what it is, uh, there's no motivation to make a new Quake when you could just make a new Doom. I think the other thing is, is like, um, 
those Wolfenstein reboot games did okay for the company, but they did very little to bring the old Wolfenstein games back. Also, old Wolf the old Wolfenstein games like Wolfenstein 3D and Spear of Destiny just aren't anywhere near as easily available. Yeah, I mean, they're on Steam. And they're also they're also like harder. They're not. They're less accessible games, even though they're simpler. Like their levels are so repetitive that it's easy to get lost, and they don't give you a map, which makes them well more so than Quake. The weird thing with apparently like um, pre Wolfenstein reboot is that. A Apparently, there was a pretty big divide of, like, Wolfenstein Enemy Territory did very, very well. Yeah. And then when they re-released the game on Steam, that version of the game did very well. And Wolfenstein uh, Enemy and, Territory did yeah. well? When? Enemy Territory did very when? well. 20 years ago? No, they re-released it uh, on two Steam, years like, ago. Yeah, two years ago. Huh. But, yeah. The, but I did also not know the, this. The thing about enemy territory is is that the enemy territory community did does not play any of the other wolfenstein games like return to wolfenstein players did not go back to previous games what happened to quake wars does anybody remember quake wars i am aware of quake enemy territory quake wars <laughs> The weird thing with Enemy Territory Quake Wars is that it, was a, it had a lot more, like, vehicle stuff than, like, Return to Wolf and Castle Wolfenstein. But yeah, all of those weird Grey Matter games were... They did well for them. Didn't Grey Matter just do... They just did the two, didn't they? Yeah. And then they uh, did United Offensive, and then apparently their original IP just bellied up, and they... No, 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 they uh, they basically just merged the... into Treyarch. Yeah, they're in the Call of Duty mines now. Well, they don't even exist. They just agreed prior to, like, uh, Treyarch becoming the replacement for Infinity Ward. Like, they were like, okay, let's just merge. I, I like... I like the Treyarch Call of Duties. I, I remember when people were still kind of shitty about, oh, this is Call of Duty, you skip, and then Black Ops 1 came out, and it's like, okay, no. Yeah, so I mean, World shit. at War is pretty... Call of Duty 3 is kind of a piece of shit. I'm just going to go ahead and say that. They like, also only had nine months to make that game. Yeah. Anyway, how, cra how crazy is it that the guys who made... Died by the sword. Uh, the, guy, the Grey Matter Interactive was originally Zatrix. Who made Redneck Rampage? Yeah. Well, their first game was uh, Siberia. Siberia. Yeah. Um, which that game's cool. It it really only made sense for like the early '90s, but that game made sense at the time. But yeah. By Siberia, you mean the one that is C Y B E R A? Yes. I yes. Not the not the um, not the not the adventure game. No, it is not the um, Ben Osokal uh, franchise. Benoit Sokal. Who apparently uh, died from, I think, cancer, and so all the future Siberia games, especially the one that came out two years ago, was made after his death. Which might be why people didn't like it. I wouldn't know. I did not play that game. The world before. So Doom, Doom's good, right? Like, yeah. Doom doing... Hey, guess what? This this new looks like, Doom, uh, looks like some Doom ass Doom. Oh, uh, there. This looks like a secret level entrance, right here. So how My... does Doom feel, Raiden? Uh, like hey. Game so game. Doom is a video game where you go very fast, okay? But is that as fast as Fortnite? Huh. Listen, I've I've been playing enough COD recently to tell you what I think about slide jump tech. Um, and uh, I, uh, it's very it's I I get a very perverse glee 
every single time some guy tries to do a bunch of acrobatic shit on me and then I just what him once with a shotgun. And that's, that's my Call of Duty ethos. I love scrolling wall textures. Oh. I see. Rocket launcher. Rocket launcher. Rocket launcher. So you were asking about Ultra Kill earlier. Yeah. Uh, and and Dusk and a Medieval. Have you played any or seen any Ultra Kill CP? Yeah, I'm watching a VTuber play it um, right now. Okay. Has your has your VTuber uh, tried to punch your shotgun shells? Yes. Okay. Bibu's pretty good at shooters. Bibu's legitimately actually good at video games. It's not like what's this uh, left moves and the right straight the like right analog left analog what what. No. That's the thing the game never really tells you about, but you can do, and it's kind of the it's the kind of game that is. I yeah, I like um, watching Fuwa. I I watched Fuwamoko play Portal Two co-op, and it was abu it's abundantly clear that neither of them played uh, the single player of Portal Two. They don't understand how the game works. And, uh, and it's great. That's the best part. And uh, yeah, it's it's great. Uh, remember Brink? No. Yeah, she's literally Nobody throwing. Remember. She's throwing the shells and punching them. I mean, the Brink air. is actually like weirdly important. Uh, in the sense that um, it's the first game with a lot of. Uh, it's the first movement shooter, right? Mm. Okay, how? How do we get this red key to go to what is clearly a secret exit? Let's find out. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. We're going to fuck going through the main exit. We're going to we're going through the secret exit. I'm a video game man. You're you're a gamer? Yeah, no. Uh the other day, um I beat the there. the stupid hard optional boss. Uh, okay, what? what? Of there's uh there's a boss in uh the Midnight Fane area of uh, Wrath of the Righteous, which is oh real yeah 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 yeah, yeah it's called Playful Darkness, and not a joke. Um, it is considered by most. Uh, people to be the hardest optional boss in that game. So it ha it starts with like an armor class of 68. Fantastic. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm playing on core and I would not recommend people play the video game on core. Um, until Unless they, they're crazy people. Yeah, uh, until you have until, beaten the game once. Until you've read a Pathfinder rulebook, and if you understand uh, how cheese, how to cheese, um, consider it. That is not a first playthrough difficulty. I'll try it anyway. Um. All right. There it is, right there. Yep, there's where we need to go. 
Uh, yeah, so I got the achievement for beating Playful Darkness, uh, because I got lucky with a dispel, uh, and managed to actually dispel the boss's, uh, buffs. And then I killed it with my Magus. Alright. Secret level, let's go! Are we sure this is a secret level? Yeah. See? I got the achievement pop-up for find a Dang secret level. Waste. Okay. Hi, Rilkin. Ash Mill. I noticed today that my uh, Doom turned into Doom plus Doom 2. Yeah. Yeah. Did you have to sign up for a Bethesda account? I did not. To download this. No. Okay. I think if you already owned the Ultimate Doom, you're yeah. probably grandfathered in. Yeah, it's like the when they did the Quake re-release, where if you own Quake, um, then you just got it, and if you own Doom One or Doom Two on Steam, you just got it. I did not, weirdly enough. I had to buy this. Okay, this is some Andrew Huschold music right here. Mm -hmm. Uh, which ep which uh, which one is this? This is the new episode they added to this hmm. release. It's called. Um, Legacy of Rust. They also have a uh, sigil in here. Is sigil actually that good? People, I don't know. Romero is, I would say, he still got it as far as level design. Like the sigil is is you can see. Oh look, it's an evil marine. See, this feels a lot more like a, um, you can tell this, this, this Machine is, Games made this level. Yeah. Yeah. There are rotating textures that look like gears. Also, are all the enemies in this game going to be, uh, other Marines? Because that's good. I'm just proud of myself for organically discovering this secret level. It makes me feel like a smart boy. What are the lore, what are the lore implications of having uh, evil doom marines running around? Uh, the Satan. Oh. Hell. Uh huh. Okay. Oh god. They have given you a flamethrower. Cool. Oh well. is my least favorite thing to do. Because they're weird and jank because of the way Doom handles. Yeah, what's that one level in um, the original Doom where you have to, like, stay in the direct areas? I know what you're talking about, but I don't know. Down. I know what you're talking about, but I don't know what the name of the level is. I hate that. We're, we're gonna cheat. Yeah. Yeah. Do what you gotta do. Kill all monsters in any monster field level on hurt me plenty or higher. Anyway.
Now this area looks like uh like they clearly made new textures and tile sets for this. Yeah, these are not original textures. And I can I can respect that. Also, here's another question. Um What is what is the percentile chance that Brad Shoemaker streams this game tomorrow? A hundred percent. I wonder if Nick Splendor is already doing it. They might already be doing this. Yeah, I'll have to play this. It's a new Doom episode. I I've liked every other machine games. Uh, Do you mean to say that people who like classic Doom might? I'm saying that the track record of level designers who also probably worked on like famous Doom fan wads or Quake mods. Uh, is pretty good. I I really like those new levels they made for Quake 2. I just really like Quake. I know it's it's really hard to believe. That's a controversial stance, Controversial right? take from me. Uh the the hot take master. Quake is is I really like Quake. Quake 2. Not quite as good. Still good. The, the, Quake 2 has the best railgun ever made. Quake 2 has the railgun. And I like the way the Quake 2 rocket launcher sounds. I remember, uh, I think it was a couple years ago when I had the idea for a stream series where I'd look at nothing but the weirdest and most uh, creatively ambitious uh, Doom wads. Okay, but here's the problem with that. Some of those are absurdly, stupidly difficult. And I yeah. don't doubt your ability to actually finish them. It's just your patience. watched some Let's Players actually play through some of them, and they seem just mean spirit. Hilariously mean Or just like, evil. for expert players. Yeah. Have you been playing Doom for 30 years, and you still want a challenge here? I mean, I got the double-barreled shotgun, so now video games are... Hey, it's the super shotgun. Eat shit, Mancubus. But I'm sure if you wanted to find some new mods that weren't ridiculously difficult and were hard, I mean, I, I, I were I believe, um, weird. I believe Doom you know. the Golden Souls 3 came out at some point in the last few years. If you want a uh, man who tried to make Doom into a Mario esque collectathon platformer. Oh, I remember that one. Yeah. Uh. I mean, I already streamed my house. Wad, so that thing is incredible. I know there's a Castlevania themed Doom Wad. Fuck! 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 Fuck!
I... They're having a fun time. And having a fun time. Which is... You've been, you've been playing good video games this week. I... It's okay. We can... I can start Onimusha 2. Or, um... Try and finish right. Conscript. I was about to say you played, Con uh... Conscript is good. Yeah, Conscript is good. You played Chaos Legion, though. Yeah. yeah. You need to play more Chaos Legion. Do I? Yeah. Maybe it redeems itself at hour three. Yeah, I think a dog knocks something over. Oh. Sorry about that. It's okay. It's, There's it's, no it's dog good. left here to knock anything over. No. Yeah, all these levels are, feel very different from one another. Oh, I still have a uh, Hexen 2 installed. We could pick up my save from when I streamed that game like three years ago. Why would you? Because that would be funny. I disagree. You were not a fan. No, I wasn't. Would Hexen 2 piss you off more or would Blood 2 piss you off more? Blood 2 plays like shit. Hexen but, but 2 you, you is have just streamed your experiences with both and were not happy with either. Yeah. The... Hexen 2 is still on the Quake engine though. Whereas Blood 2 barely functions. God bless the Doom 2 Super Shotgun. Ah, oh, fuck you. Fucking piece of shit. Yeah. Language, sir. I see the Plutonia experiment design philosophies are still alive and well. seem to be having the uh, typical arch file experience. Yeah. I mean, we, we love the arch favorite. files in this yeah, household. Everyone's favorite. Okay, it's dead. It's fucking dead. There's a health pack right there. Never mind, you picked it up. How's Final Fantasy VII going, Rockin'? It's great. It's a great game. Yeah. It's... yeah. Where are you now? I'm in the building. Okay. You're, you're in the Shinra the headquarters? Yeah. Okay. Isn't that fairly close to... Yeah, that's near uh, the end of the game. It'd have to be. Okay, so how far of the original... How, how much of the original Final Fantasy VII have they covered between the two games so far? Uh, they basically covered all of uh, Disc 1 and 2. Yeah, I can't imagine it would have been that hard for Rebirth to cover most of the rest of the game, because as somebody who's recently gone through the original game, like, there's so much that 
you could just easily cut and so much that you could condense and probably should condense. So whatever the next one is, we'll probably finish it. I, I, yeah. You have to. Yeah, they said it's going to be a three-parter. Do you reckon the third one will be go back to being more linear like the first one, or...? I... I wonder. Because people... And by people, I mean Lionheart. Um... One not, person sample size. That's yeah. That's the enough. one person sample size of uh, did not like how and Vinnie Caravella uh, maybe had some problems with how long rebirth is. I don't know. I think that team's just gonna do what I think. I think they want to uh, do or overcompensate with the criticism by putting or, or, or is, in plus or is there a chance they'll go full rebuild and just make the third game a completely different thing? Knowing what I know no. about the end of, of uh, Final Fantasy uh, 7 uh, Rebirth, I think I might have I, I might know the answer to that question. Okay, well don't tell. I'm not gonna, yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna get into it. Other than to say, you know, uh, play that game. I'll I'll get around to playing it at some point. Also, that there is an answer to your question, Justin. Cool. I'll play those games someday. Big fan of remake. Can't speak for rebirth. Stuff happens. Also, I bought uh, Fate Stay Night because they fixed oh. the yeah. bug. They and fixed I, the bugs? Yeah, they fixed the bug that where it would just randomly play uh, the wrong uh, voice acting clips with the wrong portraits yeah. and the wrong that backgrounds. That was a pretty fucking funny thing. Hey, they put a randomizer mode in it. Uh, yeah, because I, I feel like I'm obligated to... Surprise! Okay. Fuck, 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 fuck. Let's see how far back we went. Okay. This far. Not that far. Is there is there a um, definitive answer in terms of like what 
the Doom fans of today prefer with uh, TNT Evolution versus the Plutonia experiment? Uh, I believe the correct Plutonia. answer is neither, but also Plutonia. Plutonia. You just seem to really like Plutonia. Um, not that TNT Evolution is hated by everyone. Um, CV11 hates TNT Evolution. That's one thing I can say. If you're familiar with that YouTuber. Um, but Plutonia definitely is a lot more towards the design philosophies of a lot of modern Doom mods. In other words, absurdly difficult, lots of arch vials. And lots of uh, revenants. Is this the new Doom episode? Yes. Anyway, uh, I played through most of Plutonia earlier this year. It's good. It's also very hard. I didn't finish it because I'm not good at video games. I mean, I'm I'm a fake gamer girl over here playing on Hurt Me Plenty. But also, I feel like once you get to the point where you're ready to play Plutonia and TNT Evolution, you might could also just start looking into some of the better modern Doom mods from the last 30 years. Yeah. A word? There might be community created Doom mods that are better than anything from Final Doom. Say what? Or you could play Doom 64, oh. and then your friends won't be assholes when you bring it up. Doom 64 is good. It's a good game. A little I... fucked in spots. I... He almost would, as a joke... Oh, I almost would be okay with them reviving that weird claymation art style from... Ah, it looks good. I don't... I wouldn't say it's a joke. It looks good. No, but I think the only way that they would ever go back to that style is if they could... Uh, some sort of weird. Yeah. Maybe. There we go. Eat shit. All it took was almost all of my health. I mean, he can't kill you if you hide behind a wall. Just break line of sight.
what is the Mount what what is what is the Mount Rushmore of Dooms? Are there I enough, mean, are there enough Dooms for that to even be a? There are at least like, four Doom games. Are, are we including? Are we including like? There are, what? You said there are at least no, four Dooms. There are four or... faces. Yeah. Like. Yeah. Are you asking us which ones are the best ones? Yeah. The answer is Doom 1, 2, 2016, and Eternal. Um... I like Doom 3, but I agree with Lionheart. It's not on it. I'm trying to think if I, if there's a contrarian stance that I can make. How do you um, feel about Doom RPG? I actually think I prefer Doom RPG to 3. Um, How do you feel about sure. Orcs and Owls? They did some things to make it less fun than Doom RPG. Yeah, but it's the one you can still play. Because <laughs> they ported uh, it to DS. I, so, Lionheart, never, I, I personally never liked 64 all that much. It's good, but, like, I think it's uh, a little too cramped. Like it's those yeah, levels like, are small and tight. Um, I like the Aubrey I guess, Hodges I guess soundtrack. The question is, is like, I mean, the the, the, the whole point about uh, saying Mount Rushmore of X is to say, give me your top four without actually feeling obligated to number them from best to worst. So yeah, it's like that is the correct order. Those are the correct four. Um, I constantly forget about master levels and I've never played them. Oh. Oh, the game did not like me switching around the sound card. Uh-oh. Here I was. Thinking this was a stable product. Yeah. Uh, master levels for Doom 2, I would say, count as a thing. Anyway, yeah. Look, look at- this is a- this is a pretty kick-ass menu. For just like, all right, here's everything. Oh yeah, jeez, it's a lot of doom. Yeah, final doom is evolution and plutonia. Yeah, which is there, right there. Yeah. Dark Ages is next year, yeah. And apparently they showed some footage of it at QuakeCon. That... We'll see. I... Despite my misgivings about Doom Eternal, I mean, I'd still trust them to make another they good one. No, 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 so, no. I... They also seem to be going in a, in a different direction with Dark Ages, like... Yeah, that's that's more my point. Is like it seems like what they're attempting to do with Dark Ages is different than what they've really done previously. So, and also Doom Eternal apparently demoed and trailered very well, and then the game came out and was like, oh, this is fine, I guess. Uh, I I take take it back. Doom Eternal's amazing. Uh, <laughs> joking. We can we um, can play some right now. You want to play the DLC? Yeah, you want to see me... You want to see a grown man get very mad? Sure. Uh, the DLC doesn't get truly difficult until a little bit in, but... But also, I haven't played Doom Eternal in uh, four years. That's okay, uh, Justin. Uh, you can still experience the story being so far up its own ass, it's uncomfortable. I, I, I played I played the DLC. I, don't need I to. did as well. Um... Also, it's fine. Like, that, that game, as long as you accept from the beginning that the story's just going to be absolutely stupid and ridiculous, I don't you'll know be fine. if I'm actually completely on board with that, just because they spend so much time belaboring the world building and, like, why people I, want to kill the Doom guy that, like, they clearly they, think more of it than 
the people who yeah. play those games do. Yes, but like the way I thought of it was like they want to be 40k. Like with a lot of that stuff, especially towards the end of it. Just like stupid, you're not, ridi like you're stupid not ridiculousness. Wrong. It's just that like again, my, I, my point is that the people who are playing the, these Doom games, the reboot games don't give a shit, so I don't know why they continue to put so much effort into this. Uh, if, some of the pre-release interviews with um, Hugo Martin. Yeah, he was very enthused about the world that they built and the story they built. Uh, he was, he thought it was uh, some hot shit. Um, but, uh, sure. And like your complaints, your complaints valid, but I think there's uh, there's plenty of other things to talk about with the Doom DLC than just story bad. I, it just doesn't it doesn't get in the way. The problem is much. is that they, they spend so much time on the story in the DLC I, that it's like what the fuck. I do not remember them spending all that much time on the story. Uh, oh, were you sitting there looking through it? Were you, were you sitting there looking through the, the codex? I read all the books. I read all the books and all okay, the so codex. Th okay, so this was your fault then, because you you engaged with it. That game does not force you to engage with that stuff. I read all those books. They were there. You wrote you stuff. You don't have to. You don't have to read it's it. It's in though. the game. They literally wrote it. But you don't... I'm going to interact with Look it. Look at this guy books. reading every book in an Elder Scrolls game. Look at this guy over here reading the Lusty Agonian Maid. And the I, real I, Baron I literally Zaya. wrote a blog where I said one of the most entertaining parts of uh, Oblivion is, like, reading the books. I mean, you're not wrong on that. But as far as, like, Doom Eternal goes, I don't know. I feel like it should have been obvious in the I also early read parts. all the, most of the books in Skyrim. Like, you put it in the game, I'm going to do it. Okay. I'm proud of you. Oh, that's the, a legitimate the complaint, invasion but of I don't, Akavir is something that's, like, burned into my memory because I actually think that that was a good written book. Because, hey, the guy who wrote all of those books was a fucking weirdo nerd. Yeah. And they let him go ham. I forget what his name was. Um, guy guy responsible for Chim. And all of the weird shit in Elder Scrolls I, lore that never comes up. I did up. read... Well, Lionheart, I did read all the data logs in Final Fantasy XIII. Because that's the only place where you get the story of Final Fantasy 13 because they don't put it in the fucking cutscenes. It's mostly just uh, flippy shit and uh, look at Barthantilus turning into a chandelier. So you actually need to interact with the data logs in Final Fantasy 13 because that's where the world building is. Like the whole ritual at that uh, Vanille and Fang are subject to, like all that's in the data logs. I like the part where I shoot things with a shotgun. Hmm. Is Etro a band word? I don't know. I'm not seeing any bands. Did you did you mistype it into something that was uh, a non word? Uh, oh, who are these guys? They look oh, like they're almost straight out of Hexen. Oh man. Circle strafe. Ah, fuck you. Throwing an arch file into this fix does seem very dangerous. I'm a, I'm a Vinny Caravella. Like, you put it in the game. I'm gonna touch it. Okay, sure, but well, like. If you're not enjoying it at some point. The game, the game does not. Yeah, the game does not force you to touch any of that. There's a few cutscenes, but that's mostly it. Yeah. There we go. I mean, I guess you could just grab the blue skull and just leave. But what's the fun of that?
100% secrets, baby. Fake game, a uh, fake girl gamer, no more. That's right. You're not like the other girl. That's right. You're a little different, a little yeah. weirder. I, yeah. All right, we don't need. I've been going for almost 90 minutes. You want to play Eternal? Or are you going to do something else? I could play Doom Eternal, or I could play more Conscript. Or I what could do you play, want to do? Uh, let's see. Um, hmm. Let's play more Conscript. Or let's play Onimusha 2. I'll put it to a poll. Because I'm indecisive and I think it's funny to rely on democracy. We're going to have to interact with democracy fairly soon. Yeah, don't worry. I'll fill out my absentee ballot. The Canadians in chat, when do you guys uh, inevitably vote to replace the Trudeau with the weird anti-vax libertarian? When's that happening for you all? My my favorite thing I've learned about Pierre Polivier is that um, dude refuses to say whether or not he supports gay marriage despite being raised by two gay dads. Which should let you know everything you need to know about him. Um... Let's see, what's what's the other one? All right. Poll is up. Uh, but yeah. Oh, what what Mega Man game to clarify? Would you have? Played? Uh, yes. Oh, Doom Eternal getting mod support this late? Huh. Okay. Why? Sure. When? Why? Quite con, baby. Um. I accidentally selected Mega Man. Oh, well. Yeah, that's fine. Three way tie, baby! Kids love Mega Man. I, I need to set up I need to set up my PlayStation no, again you can still vote. anyway. Uh oh, Rio subjected longer. themselves to the worst Mega Man. Or uh, one of. Yeah, Rio well, yeah, Rio is is more patient than oh. I am. Did they, were... play, did they play X DOS Mega Man? No, they played X seven. I thought yeah, no, DOS Mega Man probably worst, but Which Mega Man am I playing? Not X7. Probably a Zero. Can you hear me, Axel? Can you hear me, Axel? I'm Axel! I'm just a... I'm Poochie the Dog! Um... No, uh... It, watching, like uh, Rio play X8 was like, Oh, this seems competent! Still not quite there, but competent. Still not quite there. But competent. What, X8? Sorry. I'm yeah, talking. X8. Yeah, much better game. I, I forgot about DOS Mega Man 
DOS Mega Man is funny because of it only the has circumst- three robot masters. The circumstances of its existence. It has an intro stage. That's kind of cool. Um, it has no music. No. And like, the sound effects are all terrible. Yeah, it's great. Uh, there are also some uh, Game Boy Mega Mans, but I... Lionheart I played all those of those. those are supposed to be as bad. Lionheart played those, just... and apparently some of the later Game Boy Mega Mans are actually solid. All right. Uh, how do you feel about Mega Man and Base on the GBA? On I don't like how Base controls. Uh, I mean, the weird thing about Mega Man and Base is that it was like a SNES game released in '97. Then they re-released on the GBA. Yeah. I don't like how Base controls. I don't I like how it's Base. It's a cool uh, little gimmick, feet. but fuck that. Also, the yeah, one I played was in the GBA. In yeah. It was originally yeah. an ASNES game, too. It, it wasn't released here, though, was it? Like, originally, it wasn't released here. Yeah. Mega Man and Base was released for the Super Famicom in, like, 97. And then uh, ported to the GBA. And that was the yeah. first time we got it. That's the one I had as a kid. I know. I don't remember ever beating it. I'm trying to remember what it like felt no. a lot like Mega Man Eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Super Fam the the SNES release was Japan ninety eight, and then the only listed North American PAL releases in two thousand and three on the GBA. Yeah, I I don't like I don't like how base plants his feet. Nope, I'm not a fan. Um, I want to be moving when I am Mega yep. Manning. Actively not a fan. Also, uh, let's just say uh, Rio had a pretty in-depth conversation about uh, Command Mission uh, yesterday. And, yeah. yeah. Are uh, you saying we should play Command Mission? We got so much on our plate, it's going to be at least two years before it even gets on the short list. Yeah. I, I mean, in terms of like weird JRPGs from that console era, I feel like the thing I just hear about Command Mission is it's fine. Well, it was basically a, the, like almost all of the team members from the Breath of Fire series up to that point just worked on Command Mission. It's like, yo, uh, can you put the Mega Man using uh, a more Final Fantasy X based uh, combat system? It's like, sure, whatever. Okay. Fine. Uh, is, it, is it Command Mission only like uh, 20 hours long though? Yeah. Oh is, shit, this got achievements. Kind of cool. This got retro achievements. Cool. Yeah, when how to, to, will we eventually see Jean Renault? Well, yeah, this, in Onimusha 3. Series. Yeah, so that's right. This game So this game uses the likeness of another uh dead Japanese actor. Just like the first game, where uh, Yusaku M- Matsuda. That's right. There was a sequel to Mega Man DOS. Yeah, they made Mega Man Three for DOS. There is no Mega Man Two. The robots are revolting. Sixty, Lord Nobunaga Oda defeated Yoshimoto Imagawa in Okehazama. Soon after his victory, Nobunaga to a fatal arrow which pierced his throat. However, Nobunaga was far from finished. With the help of the demons, he rose from the dead. Uh, they, fi- they changed demons Flashman to Oil Man. Slaughtering innocent villagers. Then a young Snake warrior, Man becomes Shark Man. Man. Fucking Akechi God! Stood up and defeated the demon. I remember that. I played that first the game. Nightmare, however, yeah, it was the big guy with the teeth. Yeah. Later, his strength was I mean, shark. I, I beat. Was to conquer the entire... I well, somehow accidentally like. the got the speedrun achievement for uh, Onimusha 1. I don't care for that game. 
I like it. Sure. Yeah. But let's see if the second one's good. Cause uh it ain't ever getting a re release. Hey, what's up? It's me, Oda Nobunaga. I'm back from the dead. Hey, man, they heard they, of me. They, they gave uh, Onimusha Warlords a Steam release, like, yeah. five years ago. Yeah, and it didn't do well enough for to justify them doing the same treatment for the rest of them. I, I wonder if part of that is needing to pay the actors that some characters are based off of. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's that's 100% of it, part of it. Because yeah, uh If I remember right, this game is it's like almost isometric. Yeah. The camera stuff is weird. It's part of why I didn't like it. Yeah, I love tank controls. Uh yes, there is a 2x KO beta or alpha happening right now. I'm a demon! Yeah, that's what he's saying right now. Uh, yeah. I... Oh, God! Oh, God! Yeah, uh, uh, Onimusha doesn't fuck around. Um... Uh... I will not be playing the 2x KO beta. What is 2x KO? That is the League of Legends fighting game. Oh, oh is it's that the one that they, they repurposed uh, that robot game from? Well, that's the, the game that the Rising Thunder people have been working on for the last six years. You sure has it been more than that? I feel like that Eight years. Rising Thunder was like 50,000 years ago. Eight years ago? Hey, what's up? It's me. I got a snake. Remember? I mean, like... Rising Thunder itself was a whole debacle. Yeah. Um, like they, that's a canceled free-to-play fighting game by Radiant. Yeah. And that they got the support of Riot. Uh, Hi. But yeah. I bet I here here's my prediction is that uh the Riot fighting game will do well because people are like, I love these characters. Like the sexy fox lady. What's weird though is is that uh, Radiant Entertainment's like the one game they actually put out was a city builder game. What was it? Stone Hearth. Sure. Um, and even that game has, like, a weird controversy associated with it. It's, like, one of, uh, let's say, a handful of games that had a crowdfunding campaign stretch goal of um, doing a Linux port that never came out, even though there were people who bought the tier to support a Linux port. Oh, hello. I'm a Kunoichi. Sexy lady. Uh, look at my cleavage. I'm cutting this water. None of these char oh, none of these characters are um Oh here we go. Here's the protagonist. She's no Taki. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, Braden, if you play Red Ninja End of Honor, let's just say <laughs> Ah, that game knows what they're doing with their character. By the way, here here's the secret thing about Onomusha 2, is that um, this is also a dubious horror game. It's both. Because the Resident Evil DNA is still... It's still here. Fearing the ominous like, I remember when... Desperately raced Look, I was a kid. We were all kids. Yeah. Uh, when I don't even know what the studio was behind Red Ninja and of Honor, but they definitely were on G4 a lot because we gave her a very short skirt and her uh -huh. boobs jiggle, and there are a lot of panty shots. Uh -huh. And 
the main character of that game was consistently nominated by a panel of people ranking video game ladies for their hotness. I think one of them was an editor from a trusted video game source, Maxim Magazine. Yeah. And then Sean Baby. Yeah. But that era Wait. of Sean Baby when he was full gimmick. You tell me that the mid 2000s was kind of a regrettable time for Who did video this? games media. Maybe. Oh. Who's there? Jube. Come to me, Jube. The weird thing is, Yagyu Jube is a real historical figure and all it is this game not letting me use the stick let's just double check that my controller uh No, no. Okay, no. This game is just a uh, D-pad only. Great. As far as I can tell. I'm already kicking. Already having a good start. It's fine. You can save game here. Well, you do save. Oh, it's a green herb. Weird. Anyway. Also, uh, Jubei is in um, Samurai Showdown Mr. Jubei. and Mr. is parodied in Gintama. You come back. You grow so strong. Are you all right? What happened? I um, need to get out of here. Right there. Hey, who did this? Oh my god. That's a. <laughs> you okay, bro? You're the ones who attacked here? For whom are you working? I won't forgive you. Prepare yourself! This is some good voice acting. <laughs> Here, here's the other thing that I think is interesting about this game. I'm pretty sure Onimusha uh, 1 also uses pre-rendered backgrounds. But I believe 3 and 4 are fully 3D. So, also, I, I have to mention the fact that this is the game where they mo-capped a horse. Hell yeah, they did. Put those ping pong balls on that horse. I'll put the uh, link that breaks down. Like, they were so proud of the fact that they mocapped a horse that they actually shared the data of their mocap to like in, in magazines. It's like, look at this shit that we did. Okay, that's a block. Yagyu Village map.
They used more points of capture on the horses than their no capped people. video games man yeah i mean this was this was peak capcom right this was this uh, was when capcom was spending money yeah in ways that like they they really they they knew that they were technologically ahead of the curve and in areas where they weren't technologically ahead of the curve because you know they still really liked doing sprite-based stuff. They didn't care, and they were still making money. A dragon trying, it says, prove your identity. Capcom has had so many eras. What's the best era of Capcom? Is that modern Capcom, or...? I mean, I think... Yeah. Uh, the secret is that, um... The secret is is that Capcom's down periods are more easily definable than its up periods. Yeah. Like, like Capcom early 90s post, Capcom. Capcom post RE5 is a very easy to timeline down period. But I don't know, man. Like strong arming the fighting game through a big slump with Street Fighter 4 was kind of important. Thanks, Retro Achievements. Like... Jube. Jube. <laughs> I love voice acting. What's up, Jube? It's me, Takajo. Oh, women! You're behind this. Uh, uh, uh. the one responsible for burning down Yagyu village is Nobunaga Oda. What? Kill him, for he is the real demon. You're the like real. A demon? Yeah. What are you talking the about? The demons. <laughs> Defeat the demon, Jube. Your hand has the power to absorb the souls of demons. Hell yeah, it does. Use this power to defeat Nobunaga. Yeah. You soul reave these guys, Jube. I think the other complication with, like, uh, trying to say what was the golden era of Capcom is, is, like, a franchise, one fr one of their marquee franchises could be down, but the other can be up. Like, um... You know, Street Fighter VI comes out 2012, but... I thought that was. I like mean, sorry, Resident Evil. Resident Evil Six comes out 2012, and uh, yo, those Monster Hunter was doing pretty well on handhelds around. That yeah, time. but 2012 was also um, Dragon's Dogma, so it's great. Yeah, then Dragon's Dogma uh, comes out, and then the year prior, uh, a good Marvel vs. Capcom game came out. What you're saying is they never had a, a truly completely down era. No. No. And also, like, they haven't really had a truly completely everything is good era because they still put out that Resident Evil multiplayer along with RE3 and uh, none the of nobody that remembers that. Hey. And then they, the eight thing. They yeah. do things. They try things. And sometimes they work. The person who keeps trying to make competitive multiplayer stuff happen 
uh, out of Resident Evil. Out of Resident Evil is. Absorb their souls in my hand. This is according to Capcom. Okay, Braden? Okay. All right. The, the, this is them listing their own top 10 multi-million selling franchises from Street Fighter best to worst. Okay, no, 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 no. The franchise, not just like thing. So Street Fighter 2 is grouped together. I will just say this. Street Fighter is grouped together with Street Fighter 2, all Street Fighters, okay? So the franchises... Number 10. I'm going to give you a number, and then you're going to have to guess what the franchise is, okay? 8.6 million in sales. Number 10. Mega Man. No. 8.6 million total sales. Dragon's Dogma? No. no. I'll let Brayden guess one. This is my new power. Mm. Number it's gonna take ten. a long. It's gonna take a long time to pare down. I'll give you a hint. Number five. I will get my Marvel vs. Capcom. You will pay You're playing this. it right now. Onimusha. 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 Total lifetime sales: eight point six. Number nine. Eleven point zero. So eleven million. I will say this: one of you has already said it. Mega Man? No. Dragon's Dogma? No. Bur Marvel vs. Correct. So number nine is Marvel vs. Capcom, though it is tied uh, with number eight. But it has a site, it's listed above it, at 11 million in sales for alphabetical reasons. That is your hint. 11 million in total lifetime sales. Brayden, you offered a free copy from this franchise. Ace Attorney. Correct. Number seven has already been mentioned by you guys. 11.7 in lifetime sales. A new entry in this franchise has come out recently. Dragon's Dogma? Correct. Not, there we go. Okay. Beating out Dragon's Dogma by approximately 5 million extra in lifetime sales at 16 million. Tits. Oh. Okay. No. Uh, first release, 2006. Dead, Dead Rising. Rising. Correct. Lifetime sales... 31 million. Fifth best selling franchise in Capcom's catalog. First release, 2001. Devil May Cry. Correct. Okay, now we're getting into the top four. Mega Fourth. Man. Correct. 41 million. What was it? Mega Man is uh, number oh. four with 41 million in lifetime sales. Third place, lifetime sales, 54 million. First release, Resident 19, Evil, 1987. Mega Man. No, you we already said, said that. Man. Fourth. Uh. Street Fighter. Correct. You have to forget, you guys are forgetting the fact that Street Fighter was like completely an arcade game, and so lifetime yeah. sales are actually very not appropriate for like the first. I mean, Street Fighter. Because I, I was thinking that Street Fighter would be two and Monster Hunter would be one. No, Monster Hunter is two at 100 million in Resident sales, Evil and Resident is Evil is one in 157 in lifetime sales. Now, That's almost as many copies of Grand Theft Auto V have been sold, period. I mean, 
I, I, I point this out, but... Kids really love fucking Grand Theft Auto Online. Holy shit. Alright, so I'll just go down the one... The other part of this list is the best-selling games... Uh, this is really unfair to all of the old games because, like, things like arcade games just... You, you can't. You can't. But... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... Yeah, this is a top ten list. Just shoot out names that you think are going to be on here. I'm going to say that this list is not surprising of their best-selling games ever. Hey, is Street Fighter 2 their number one? No. If we combine all the versions. No, because they did. And uh, let's just say uh, modern video game releases still won. Monster Hunter. Actually, you know what? Let me let me see this. Uh, yeah, the oldest game on this list is from 2009 in their top 10 list. What do you think that game is? Well, I, I just gave it 2009. Oh. Resident Evil 5, your favorite game in the world. Yeah. Okay, so 10th is Devil May Cry 5. Ninth is Resident Evil 3 Remake. Sure. Eight is Resident Evil 6. Seven is Resident Evil 5. Six is Resident Evil Village. Fifth, Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Fourth is Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. Third is Resident Evil 2 Remake. Two, Monster Hunter Rise. And then number one, their best-selling game ever made, Monster Hunter World. Sure. I... <laughs> oh, man. They also have this thing of, like, companies founded by our ex-employees that have been previous partners and stuff. There's... Yeah. Okay, yeah, you're gonna mention Arika, sure. Is is, is Shinji? Uh, no, uh, no uh, Shinji the guy Mikami? who made Mega Man. Oh, no, uh, the other guy who made Mega Inafune. Man. Inafune. Uh, Inafune. Yeah. No, he's not on here. <laughs> we don't talk about Comcept. Yeah, I I wonder why that that break might have been a little. Uh, that break might have been a little hard. Didn't Shinji Mikami leave on good good terms? Yeah. Or, oh. On what good terms? Yeah. Sort of, yeah. You have got bow. I don't have I don't have bow anymore. He's gone now. Is Kanitsugami good? I should... I, I guess it's on Game much. Pass. I have it right now. I have the Game Pass. I could find out. Instead of just using Game Pass as a way to play Call of Duty without paying full price. How do you feel about Anamusha 2, sir? Uh, yeah. it, it reminds me a lot of the first game. Where the frustrating stuff, uh... The frustrating stuff for, uh... The first Onamusha didn't really rear its head until... Later in the game. <laughs> But also, it's been long enough that, uh, I mean, I just, I just like being able to do this. Wow. Stab him in the gut. Yep. Counter slash.
Do you have a permit? I won't allow you to enter the mine unless you have a permit. I won't allow you to enter the mine unless you have a permit. I won't allow no. you to enter the mine unless you have a permit. I gotta get a permit. It's just like when I learned how to drive. <laughs> Probably have to grind for gold anyway to buy a permit. You can't trick me, video game. This video game's for 2002. You can't trick me! I give you a fan, woman of the night? No. We'll figure out how to give gifts at some point. up between the two of you get over it what seriously who'd want a red bald head like you a red bald head <laughs> that does it outside now outside now <laughs> psycho magoichi that's another Sengoku era figure who is best known the the Saika clan was known for using gunpowder cuz they had uh ties with the Portuguese 
And also, he's a boss in Neo. You cheat, coward! You are too old-fashioned. You arrogant fool! Stop this! Hey, what's up? Okay, Kakuji is an honorable man, famous with the spear of the Hazoe. Magoichi Saiga is also an honorable man and is a chief of the Kishu Saiga gun team. But it is dishonorable to fight over such trifle things. I agree. <laughs> and you are What? Wait, what? I'm Jubei your dad, Yagi, the young chief of the Yagyu clan. I'm here to tell you not to fight. Hey? And you are the Jubei Yagyu who is master of the blade. It must be fate that three proud warriors meet in such a town. There will be no fight today. Aguichi will take pity on you instead. This is really good voice acting. <laughs> Gift exchange. Alright, so he wants history books. I like books. I love drinks. All right. Okay, you can go in.
monsters in the mine shaft. Monsters? A woman wearing armor went in there. I, I, I tried to stop her, but... What? Uh, uh, ah! Hello, Harley. What's Hello, going? Harley. How's it going? Uh, pretty okay. I got uh a chicken. Syphilis. Oh wait. I got a chicken parm sandwich and some Brussels sprouts. Fuck yeah! yeah. Cool. Has anyone? He's not here, but has anyone told Ralkin that he continues to not? He continues to be labeled as a stream as streaming Arcvalad too. Yeah. He doesn't have access to his Twitch account, so that's the thing he was actually complaining about for a while. Yeah, that's like it. he he tried to talk to Twitch support and, and they wouldn't let he him. Still hasn't his... he still hasn't gotten a response yeah. from Twitch support like but four his months shadow, later. His his shadow play is still hooked into uh Twitch. So he could just keep running it. Look at these dudes! Oh, yo, you're Are these kobolds? Yeah, yeah, on Etusha. I, play, I played the third one, I think. Yeah, the um, one with John Rennell. I don't know, actors. Uh, He's a French the man. One with the, the lady who got a gun. Lizard man. Possibly Justin. I don't know if you put D and D or not. Justin, uh, Justin yeah. is in my yes. D and D group. Yeah. All right. How many CR one fourth goblins do you think two level three characters could kill? Uh huh. I'm I, I'm seeing where this is going. No, I'm asking. How many do you think they could kill? I mean, the way CR works is um. The way CR works. Is it's a vague guideline is how CR works. Um, anyway, my answer is eight. Assuming you're not, like, doing any sort of optional, like, flanking grants, uh, free advantage. <laughs> what, yeah, all right, what's there. happening? Is oh, you having it. fun? I got it. No, no, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, you find a, a list. Also, also, uh, something went viral. Um, oh, shit! Did something go viral? Is there a funny meme now? I know, Harley, you don't want to participate in the one that in the assorted membrane getting political thread on the Discord, but I'm going to at you 
because something just posted and boy it's fucking great okay. so this is titled this is titled mississippi attorney accused of bringing contraband into correctional facility and it's a picture of the actual lawyer <laughs> and i need you guys to look at this fucking guy you should probably i was supposed to link in the chat Holy the in the uh it and the twitch chat yeah what the fuck all right you can see ice right. glinting i'm doing inside. it okay i'm gonna need the ice sword clearly so it's also a metroidvania ah uh, i mean it's yeah. it's a resident <laughs> evil joking it's not a joke the answer is yes only we should dance I mean, in as much as any adventure game is an advent is an is a Metroidvania, I think I think the distinguishing factor for me is still um, a true space whipper. I thought I was getting tagged in something. I'm trying to do it properly. Look at the funny shit. picture. I'll look at the funny picture. God damn. Okay, he is a very strange looking individual. Yeah, okay. You picked a you picked a guy who yeah, it's a it's a fun fucking cockroach wearing an Edgar skin looking ass motherfucker from Ben and Black. Yeah. What's the actual article? <laughs> It's about how he uh, was sneaking in drugs for his client. That does look like a... Um, I mean, uh, I ain't exactly a pretty motherfucker myself, but that looks like a guy who would sneak drugs in for his client. I mean, that sounds like a pretty good lawyer to me. I mean, he got caught. But also, it looks like he may have consumed the contraband he was sneaking in. What? I think this might be my best attempt so far at this sandwich. Farm? Yeah. I still haven't quite figured out how to make the breading stay on the chicken after I've started eating it. But, damn if this don't fucking slap. Yeah, we just got burritos for dinner. Burritos are good. Yeah, I got. I I decided to mix things up instead of carne asada. I got arrobada. Harley, what's your go-to burrito well, meat? Like, let's say that money is no object. You I get a burrito. Get, what's the meat? A little bit of everything. Oh, you're a mixer. Fucking trying to create your create a meat tornado, huh? Is your daughter pretty? Oh God. I shall bring her back to you. Tell me, where did the monsters go? That way. Yes, yes, yes. Anyway. I think this guy that uh, this big portly man with this stick uh, spear harpoon thing might uh, be of ill repute. I'm sure he's also a boss fight in Neo.
Oh, fuck, dude. Borgmaster found a different article that actually shows how much contraband he tried to sneak in. Holy shit! Hot fucking damn! God damn, Braden! With, okay, let me... Let, with the look. fucking cigarillo wraps and the eight... And oh, the five, oh, five okay. Cigarettes. Dude's rock, man. That's fucking a... Okay, egg. that's a... That's a lot of drugs. <laughs> That's a lot of fucking shit. He was no, he was gonna he was gonna sneak that into that guy's prison so that guy could sell it to people. I'm that, absolutely yeah. one hundred with y'all. As someone who <laughs> as someone who lived in a community with a prison, the cigarettes are the worst offender on that tape. <laughs> Dude's rock man, fuck. Okay, now I got a spear. Uh, uh, the actual drugs. That's bad. Fucking, uh, 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 5, 10, 15, 20, 2,500 cigarettes? That's, that would throw the prison economy so goddamn out of whack, y'all. Yeah, that's prison inflation. Motherfuckers would be killing each other over those cigarettes in less than a day. <laughs> oh shit, I've activated Devil Trigger. I mean Onimusha. Oh, fucking shit, man. This is great. <laughs> that's so much contraband, you know. So much shit. That's all. That is a lot of. That's a lot of drugs. Dude's fucking rock, man. Hell yeah. I love. Look I love fucking, America. God fucking, bless America. The fucking two dozen four packs of cigarillos. Crazy. <gasps> The fact that he got all those drugs and all those cigarettes and then bought cigarillos for raps. Like, this guy is simultaneously the best lawyer on the planet, but also the brokest motherfucker I've ever seen. What he the fuck is a kilometer? <laughs> what the? Like, he couldn't even get them real cigar wraps. He gotta get them pre-filled cigarillos that they gotta break open and empty and refill with weed. <laughs> you know, I worked at that gas station for four years. Uh -huh. I don't think I ever saw a single person actually smoke a cigarillo. Is it like how I've been working at the tennis shop for like four months at this point and have yet to see anyone actually buy a pickleball paddle? I'm pretty sure pickleball paddles are just for fucking, but yeah, probably. What? Fuck. Are you making oh. a yaoi paddle joke? Well, necessarily a yaoi paddle joke, but just kind of a paddle joke in general. Okay. Also, I way over salted these fucking Brussels sprouts. These are sorry. borderline borderline unedible for me. Harley, Harley, have you have you heard about how my mom prepares Brussels sprouts? No, how's your mom doing? Um Alright, so we oven we oven like t uh, toast them so they're nice and crunchy. Uh -huh. And then Bake it Hold like a shitload it. of uh, like balsamic vinegar and bacon. Yeah, see that would fuck incredibly and blue cheese. hard. It, that would fuck incredibly hard, except Daisy's Jewish. Oh. So can't do bacon. Could not put blue cheese on them oh. if there was bacon. As. I'm going to keep that in the holster, though, for the well, next time Daisy will. and M go out of town. I'll make that for myself. I won't forgive you! And I'll get back to you. I'm the comedic sidekicks! Hey, what's You're up? Children. Eke, have you found the daughter? Oh, that's a big man. Not yet. Then why are you that motherfucker time? looks like he bench presses like five hundreds. I dream of becoming he a got beautiful beautiful beat trucks for arms. I'd do anything to make it happen. Anything, even serve Nobunaga. Yes. The, the point is, 
Makuichi laughed at my dream. I laugh because it's silly. Jube, what's your dream? I don't have a dream. I will kill Nobunaga. Another man possessed by a vengeful ghost. <laughs> a vengeful ghost? What do you mean? Makuichi! Oh, I have something we can talk about. What? Who's excited for the Borderlands movie debuting at 0% Rotten Tomatoes? What are we talking about? The Borderlands, Borderlands movie. movie that has a zero on Rotten Tomatoes, Harley. Oh, yeah. What if we yeah. hate watch this? Hey, uh, I here's the thing. I bet it'll be on Netflix uh, within a couple months. I mean, I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. It won't be hate watching for me. I'm gonna enjoy it regardless. Uh, I'm, I, I am, I am a rare breed of Borderlands fan. I have enjoyed every single piece of Borderlands content I have ever encountered. Are you sure? Uh, yeah. I even liked Borderlands 3 unironically. I mean, it still and, plays fine. And Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. Okay. okay. I even, I even enjoyed the second Tales from the Borderlands game. I forgot that after game I, existed. After I watched a Let's Play of it, because I'm broke and I ain't paying for it. That's so. fine. Don't. Hi, it's me, twitch.tv slash arbitrary water. Don't pay for things, except for your subscriptions to my channel. Also, maybe pay your taxes. Also, pay your taxes, otherwise uh, the man will get you. Also, I think there might be some sort of uh, rendering glitch here, because I'm uh, playing this in a widescreen. Yeah, and also support the podcast. Oh yeah, support the podcast, everybody. Ooh, I got 12,000 brain points. What yeah. can I do? You can tell me to drink water. I guess I can. You have been going for like two and a half hours. Have a sippy. Okay. And I hit unmute. So there. So there, people. Thought I was going to make a fool of myself and talk even though I was muted. Well, joke's on you. You finally remembered. I remembered. Before what talking. Do you think you are doing? Hey, what's up? You want to smoke some blunts with me? I'm a Spider-Man! Why did you Damn. come here? I'm looking for a woman. I have no quarrel with you. What the Who do you think you're talking to? Do you think you're equal to one from the demon mm. clown? Yeah, you're right. Not that wasn't my best friend. Better. <laughs> you are mute. Maybe if I say it louder. Uh. Look at this guy. Am I just not coming through? Oh no. Yeah, we we can hear you. Uh Braden, I have some bad news for you. What? Because of a four out of ten review from the Irish Times, the Borderlands movie now has a four percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Oh.
I, I regret to inform you. It's very distressing and disappointing. I don't know if y'all can hear it. Yeah, I but can't. The neighbors, but the neighbors across the street for the last couple of days have just for some reason decided to do nothing but sit in their car every night and loudly listen to music in their car with the doors open. Okay, that that's psychopath behavior. That's, uh... That, that's murderer. And it's been like every night for like five days. That is grounds for... I don't know, there's like eight living in that house. I don't think I could take all of them. Not with that attitude. For a moment there, I thought you were going to tell me to call the cops. No. I was like, I would never do that to some brown-ass neighborhood. No. I would never endorse calling the cops on people who are playing music slightly too loud. So I assume this game's a uh, big difference between it and the original is the hey you've got buds. Yeah. Also, are you still on tank controls? I mean, kinda. How kinda? I I live I live the tank control life. Radius uh, tank controls, uh, Charlie. Oh, I don't, I don't mind that. I was just in the first game. It was like full, straight up tank controls, like PS1 era, fucking Resident Evil tank controls. Like you couldn't really turn without having to stop. Defeat this guy Defeat. the first time, huh? Jingo, Jingo facts. I'll be back. Real talk, though, you could have just knocked him over to begin with. This motherfucker is never going to be able to get up off the ground. That guy has the most knock proneable body shape I've ever seen. Now for some women! Now for some women! Ooh, ladies. This game got ladies. Probably. Just got a samurai lady with a nice boobies, uh, oh. a nice large cleavage window. Classic PlayStation Two res or uh, classic PlayStation Two Capcom, to be honest. I mean, yeah. Listen, once uh, once the stable build of Dolphin gets retro achievements, um, you know I'm playing P and O three. You know what? Actually, I'm going to say something possibly controversial. Uh-huh. I'm genuinely surprised that in the original Resident Evil 4, that Ashley only had cleavage in her optional skin. Oh, you mean the, the pop star outfit? Yeah, like, it was a surprising amount of restraint for Capcom to just give her big tits and then also cover them up. I'm sick. I got bit by the retro achievements bug. Look, I'm getting retro achievements in. I got retro always, achievements in Overblood. How? He was always going to play this game, so why not have something to show for it? Yeah, why not have 
something to show for it. Hey, remember me? I'm a townsfolk. Hey, what's wrong? The monsters oh, are uh, supposed to work in the mines. As comic slaves. book update, Spider-Man's bonded with Venom again. Oh. Okay. Everyone uh, yeah, uh, I think if, I, if I'm, I'm getting the context from Twitter, so what I think it is, is that Eddie and the other guy who are supposed to currently be bonded with Venom are in danger? And so Venom came to Spider-Man and was like, you gotta save Eddie and this other dude who I am also in Thank a weird you. homosexual relationship uh -huh. with. You'll find uh, out. Because Without I can't it being do... actually gay. The woman you were uh, just I mean, it's work. pretty contextually gay. Might Eddie have and Venom have a, have a hole. baby together. The whole... Yes, yeah, it's okay. inside the uh, old uh, but the opening is blocked. No, it's like, you gotta save them. There I can't do it. All I do is ruin things. I'm a monster. And then Spider-Man's like, you might have been a monster Please. when you first got here, Use but brother, I've seen you cover. save the world countless times over with What's Eddie. That? I don't know exactly. We're doing this together you can open with the, the power of this friendship. Somehow. Harley, I heard I that Miles Morales is a vampire around. right now. Uh, let me go Please. back check. Take it. Harley, uh, no spoilers. Inside no spoilers. No, 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 no. Yes. I'm going to ask you a question. Yeah, what's up? No spoilers. Thank you. Forever. Are you against it or were you supportive of it? Where do you stand with the current zeitgeist fan reception Thank to you. the ending of My Hero Academia, the manga? <laughs> Loved oh. it, hate it. Oh. Loved it, hate it. Just that. We don't want. We have people in the chat who don't want the spoilers. Okay. You, you but... said no. You said no spoilers. Can I make? I'll I'll tell you right now. Can I, I looked a... up that ending and I said, "Boy, I'm glad I stopped paying attention to this." Can I make a joke about how Deku is a turbo virgin? Sure. I cannot Wait. believe Bakugo got him again. I cannot. Yeah. I, I think the other thing is, is uh, the bigger point of contention is kill, a character getting a redemption arc that did not that's deserve it. Yeah, but that's... I will assist you. Oh yeah, he is totally a vampire. Um... Kotaro Fuma. So, it looks like what happened the Hojo clan is uh, some vampires First, some that Blade was hunting Watch out for that did a ritual and blocked the sun out. She is no and so now there's woman. just vampires running a in clan. New York City. And one of them uh, bit... Don't get mad, I was kidding. Uh, uh... I'll expose her true identity in time. Just wait. One of them bit Miles, mm. and Miles was turned. Also, Dracula showed up. Uh huh. Out. Yeah, Dracula, Dracula you out. big fucking nerd. Where's my money? Uh, that's actually an edited panel. I know. Uh, when I found uh, that out, I was so sad. I was so sad, Harley. And it looks like after they defeated the big bad evil vampire that had possessed Blade's body and was responsible for the sun being blocked uh killing that guy also made all vampires into daywalkers so it now Miles is just a place. vampire in addition to all the other super crazy spider powers he has and also the weird electric powers. So anyways, did you like the ending or not? 
what? I don't fucking give a goddamn shit about this will My Hero Academia. I thought it was funny as hell. Fuck them kids. Yeah. I stopped watching My Hero Academia in like season, I want to say two or three. A good point they... to stop. I, I, well, I specifically stopped because if you recall, one of Deku's classmates is a girl who is invisible. Yeah. And her superhero After outfit is that she's time, just naked. This is it. Because her clothes don't turn invisible, right? But then, in season two or three, we're introduced to Mirio. Oh yeah, straight up Lionheart, that's her fucking superpower. She's invisible as long as she's not wearing clothes. Like, she's invisible while wearing the clothes, but the clothes don't turn invisible. Yeah, her, her, oh, her outfit is no, invisible. It, it, it's been established she's she's naked. It's Sue, she, yeah, yeah, it's Sue Storm rules. Yeah, it's, her, she's, her, it's absolutely been, it is absolutely yeah, her, been established her, she's naked. Her um, actual, factual superhero costume that she's expected to fight crime in is literally just a pair of reinforced gloves, gloves and sneakers. Yeah. Uh, Which Sue defeat Storm, purpose for the invisibility, uh, yeah. Sue Storm can turn her clothes invisible if they're specifically the clothes that have been treated with uh, dark matter particles. Her normal clothes can't turn invisible, but her, like, superhero outfit can. Anyways, in Season 3, we're introduced to Mirio, who has a similar problem, where when he turns intangible, his clothes fall off his body. But they fixed that for him by making his superhero suit out of his own hair. But they couldn't do that for Naked Girl. She's gotta run out invisible but still with her titties out and with no defensive equipment and i thought that was horseshit enough to stop reading okay what about um the the bit where um we finally got a canon uh description of what she looks like visible and it's mm -hmm. like surprise oh, yeah. she's hot well, it's surprise she's hot, and also he drew her naked still. Yeah, don't worry about it. Despite and, the fact that she's a minor? Yeah, yeah, she's 15, and her only canon art of her being fully drawn is in the nude, barely covering her bits up. It's... Yep. It's a thing. I, I think the whole situation with that, um, the decline of that manga is a the clearly that author was burnt the fuck out and wanted to move on and oh, yeah. b they had him they had him fucking drawing and inking some crazy panels on a weekly basis yeah, yeah. and b Ooh, that guy nice. clearly knew how to write the kids being kids in a school setting and the minute that he had to move away from that and like have them be older uh all of that stuff was not as well written and when the series started to rely more on characterizing the villains, it kind of sucked it other than the weird Deadpool wannabe character. Stain was pretty dumb. See, but the thing about Stain is he wasn't really even a villain. He was at best a plot device. He was like a big deal for all of fucking six chapters. And then he meets Deku oh, and is like, ah, me. I see All Might has a proper successor. Successor, I will now go into a coma for 150 chapters and never be mentioned again. Let's have some fun! I, uh, also, a uh, Braden, I recently... <laughs> sent a Kotaku op-ed to Joku, and it is, you should give the Order 1886 another shot. <laughs> Published today. Oh, also, actually, on top of Invisible Girl not being able to have her outfit made out of her hair, why the fuck can't Momo have her outfit be made out of her hair? 
Like, why she gotta ruin her clothes every time she makes a big fucking thing when she could just have an outfit made out of her own hair? Uh, because, so uh, Sh Shonen, Weekly it. Shonen Jump is a, uh, magazine it's for, teenage, for boys. Uh, teenage boys. Yeah, well, fuck teenage boys. I've never met a demographic worse than teenage boys. Yeah, I but say that as a former teenage boy. As a former teenage boy myself. <laughs> Hashtag not all teen boys. Um, Fucking, given the opportunity, I would get my shit rocked by 17-year-old Harley because 17-year-old Harley was a scrappy motherfucker and I'm an old man with a bum leg. But I would still, I would still fight him. I would. Still, I, I, would, I, would I would tell, I would tell young me to get over himself and also get medicated a lot earlier. God, I wish that would work. I feel like Kendrick saw me jumping with all the... Yeah, we need Kendrick Lamar to drop a diss track on Horror Code. Probably a minor. Dun, 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 dun. Yes. Dun, 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 dun. The guy who eviscerated uh, Drake. No, I meant Horror Koji. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, also, let's not forget, other than depicting minors in compromising positions, uh, maybe had a character that was a reference to a war criminal from World War II. It's fine. Who among us? Uh, I mean, I mean... Do the Japanese people consider this war criminal a war criminal? Well... They were on the wrong side of the war. All right, Harley, let's talk about... Right, Japan never reconciling experience. with the crimes done in Manchuria. Yeah. Nanking as well. Yeah. Have they reconciled with those crimes? No, absolutely no. not. <laughs> I was gonna... Because the... So you see, Harley, they were thinking about really doing a reconciliation thing, and then they realized, oh shit, the communists are probably gonna take over China. We need an ally, but... Uh, yeah, um, you know, there might be some, uh, justified, uh, resentment over that. And then, you know, and then you have Shinzo Abe going to war shrine, shrines, uh, where the remains of, uh, let's say dead war criminals are buried. Isn't that the guy that got rocked by the dude with the dude? Yep, sure is. Ago? Yeah, he was, sure he was the prime minister of Japan. And maybe had, like, advisors that were a part of a cult. Oh, yeah. Didn't him dying also, like, essentially dismantle that cult? Uh, yeah. it, it, uh, the no, LDP support it. for, uh, okay, down up square. The Buraito. Okay. They got you doing fucking combos here? Yeah. They got you hitting Tekken combos in your Onimushas? I mean, the thing about Onimusha was it was always the weird, awkward middle child between Devil May Cry and Resident Evil. That's fair. I'm just going to keep giving these guys gifts because I think it's very funny. This book's for sissies. This book's for sissies. The item has been rejected.
Ready? Puma! Piece of cake. Piece of cake. I'm a ninja. He's got two kukri. Ah, uh, yes. Kukri. A common weapon staple found in... D&D. Japan. <laughs> I have to real quick look up where... Yeah, co yeah. Like, I mean, where's the Paul? Actually, I just don't know where the Paul is. It's it's, it's near Paul China. Is a small map. Yeah, it's a very small. Because so I went to fucking public school. That's okay. Yes. It's the, it's the country with two triangles. Yeah. As yes. A flag. Yes. Kukri's. A common weapon to be found in medieval Japan. Brought over from... Nepal. Only 6,000 kilometers away. So I guess that distance right now is enough. Just tell me the fucking distance. God, Google's terrible. I'm sure it's like the AI is like the difference between Nepal and Japan is 300 years. Well, it doesn't want to tell me because the only options available for it to calculate are flight times, but flight times don't actually tell you the distance in like kilometers or miles, and it won't tell me the walking time. Because apparently it's impossible to walk. From hey, Ninja Man, Nepal. you like fairy tales? I can get into this. Yeah, he does. Thanks for why the power, guy, Jewel. Why does this dude on a PlayStation 2 have better face rigging than Starfield? Uh, because uh, that's where all of the. Uh, money went. This is nice. Hair oil. This is rare. My friends will be jealous. All right. All right, I think I'm gonna stop here. Okay. Because we're almost at three hours. You know what? Um, you wanna go? Yeah, I mean, this is only gonna take me an hour. Let's play some Pissed. I wanna see Pissed. Okay. Yeah, 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 you know what? Fuck it. Because fuck you, that's why. I, I Ooh, love- the I love. are you gonna play Pissed? Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, Chris. Why are you going to play pissed? <laughs> That's what I say. Okay, give me a minute. Okay. Just keep... I'm 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 Oni Nusha's. Um Like, this game, I, I don't know if you're aware of this, but this game is literally, like, 40 to 50 minutes. Yeah, I yeah, I understand it's, it's like, a low effort. 
But not even because they paid for fucking John Goodman. I mean, that doesn't mean that it wasn't low effort. That just means that they paid for John Goodman. I gotta double check to make sure because this one was a little bit of a pain in the ass to get working properly. Um, I'm playing pissed. I'm playing pissed. Okay, he's playing pissed. Uh, let me do one more test because sometimes the capture doesn't work as well as I'd like to. This is one of those games where I bet I'm going to test it and then I hit play and then OBS decides to not capture this, but I'm going to do this one more time just to be sure. Uh, okay. Oh no, Cassidy from the Bad Game Hall of Fame is playing GoldenEye Rogue Agent. That game's not that bad. It's pretty bad. It's, it's just not good. Just because something's not good does not mean that it's bad. Like, I'm going to say this. My game's worse than Cassidy's game right now. Because I'm, I'm actually playing literal dog shit. Okay. You know, ZP. Zombie pie. Mm, yeah. If I, might, if I might call you by your full name. Uh-huh. Gino was over the other day. Mm. Visiting from out of town. Uh-huh. Yeah. Did he call me a nightmare person? Like, what kind of bad names did he call me? Well, he didn't call you any bad names, although he did... I mean, I guess he did call you a masochist. Mm. But I mostly... mean, that's, that's something I deny... That I don't deny this. You know, you could... Uh, you could play games that are fun. You don't have to play bad games. I mean, we played Warcraft Adventures. That was fun. It's, it's it? sure it's... It sure is funny looking at how they they really wanted to retcon. They really do want to retcon everything they did in more gravel adventures. All right, uh, Braden, I'm gonna hit start stream when you're right. ready. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna hit the raid me. button. God damn it! Uh, thanks everyone for watching. I'm I'm gonna quickly stand up and do some stretches, and then I will be back to watch the fist. Uh, uh, uh.